What's up guys, Jake here and I'm bringing you another tutorial in Sony Vegas Pro. Today we'll be looking at the flashing effect like when the screen brightens up a little bit and fades out again. It's very simple and you saw in the intro so I don't think there's much need for me to explain and I'll just jump right into it and show you how it's done. I've imported a clip and some music into Vegas and I'll quickly play it for you so you know what we'll be working with today. Yeah, and um you can hear that the music got a lot of bass, you know, bass beats and um, we want the flashy effect to be on those bass beats so first of all we need to find the place or the places where we want the flashy effect to be so the way I usually find the places where I want the the effects to be I just listen through the track a couple of times and get to know the track and just once I know the track well enough, I just play through the track and drum on, on my keyboard. Yeah, I already know this track pretty well, so I just quickly mark where I want the flashy effect to be. And you can never get it, or maybe if you're supernatural, but you usually never get it 100% right. So a way you can adjust the markers, you just zoom in on the track, uh, so you can see these audio waves, and you can usually see the beats in on the audio waves, and you just put the marker to the beginning of the beat. It seems that I pre hit pretty well right here, and here as well. But here, for for instance, I got um, a hit a bit too early, so I just drag the marker one frame ahead, so it hits the beginning of the beat. And um, I'll quickly do that for the rest of the song, like this. So now I found out exactly where I want all the flashes to be. Now it's time to put on the flashes. And the effect I use is the effect called color curves. So just drag on this reset to none onto the clip and this display should appear. And you can see if you drag this up the screen will, will become brighter and if you drag it down it will become darker. And the same appear and the same thing for this right here. The way you synchronize it with the markers you made, you um just make sure you have this enabled right here so this um this cursor or this marker right here is identical to this marker so if you move this marker this moves as well like this so just place the marker on the this marker right here place it on the beat and move one frame back and um make a keyframe and then move back to the marker and make another keyframe and on this keyframe we just drag this thing up a little bit to increase the brightness and then we should have this you can see the screen brightens up on the beat but we will also want it to fade out again so we just move forward a couple of frames and make a keyframe by double clicking or pressing this button and copying this onto this. Just press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. And um, now it should look like this. So, once you make your first flashy effect, the rest ones will be a piece of cake because you can just copy this effect onto the other markers. And the way you do that is just go into event effects and copy all of the keyframes that you made 
press the first one and hold down shift and press the last one to mark them all and press control C to copy them find the next keyframe where or the next beat where you want the flash effect to be on go back one frame and paste them all and there you have it a completely identical flash effect that's beautiful in my opinion and sometimes you run into a situation where there's two beats right after each other and the way you handle that is just go back into event effects and let's move this over here and go to the first of these two beats zoom in by scrolling on your mouse wheel go back one frame and paste all the keyframes like you did with the other beat but um, on this second beat of these two beats on the second beat you go back one frame and make a keyframe and you can delete this keyframe from the keyframes you copied a second before and then you find the first flash effect that you made and copy the two last keyframes not the first one just the two last keyframes where it fades out click on the second beat of the two beats that you are trying to make flash at the moment and just paste that you just copied I realized that was a pretty compact explanation but I hope you understood let's play it so you can see how it looks that is it for today I really hope this tutorial helped you and if you got any questions please leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and if this tutorial helped you in any way be sure to leave a like and I'm out